The Science Success Center, with funding from Title V, presents Astronomy Workshop, Chapters 6 through 10 of the book Astro by Seeds. Hello, I'm Julia. The Family of Stars. Notice the red arrow which says parallax. A parsec is the distance to a star with a parallax of one arc second. A stellar parallax, or what seems like a shift in a star's location, is due to the Earth's orbitational rotation, or how the Earth moves. From Earth, a star will look as if it's, if it's somewhere else in the sky when charted six months later, say from January to July. To find the change in the distance of the shift, there's the equation d equals 1 over p or distance equals 1 divided by the parallax measured in arc seconds. Parallax? Not to be confused with parallax from the movie The Green Lantern. The HR diagram represents the spectral class, the luminosity, the temperature, and the absolute magnitude of stars. Remember spectra of stars? There's a scale, O, B, A, F, G, K, M, which can be remembered several ways. The luminosity-mass relationship is the brightness of a star in relation to its size. Generally, the more massive a star is, the more luminous. However, a small hot object can have the same luminosity as a large cool object. Next, Temperature is measured in kelvins. Note that the redder stars are actually cooler and the bluer stars are hotter. Additionally, the main sequence is a collection of hydrogen burning stars in the curved region from lower right to upper left of the HR diagram. Check out the sizes and compositions of these stars. Thinking question, if a star is on the lower left corner, is it hot or cold, small or big, brighter or dimmer? That's right, it's hot, small, and dimmer, just like a white dwarf star. Binary stars are simply stars that orbit each other. The key to finding the mass of a binary star is understanding its orbital rotation. The gravity determines the mass. The more massive star has a smaller orbit and is closer to the center. The lower mass star moves around a larger orbit. Here are three kinds of binary stars. A visual binary system consists of two stars visible in a telescope. And a spectroscopic binary system, a spectrum of the light given from both stars, is observed. Finally, in an eclipsing binary system, a star moves in front of another and it blocks some light of that star. 80% of the stars in our galaxy are binary stars. The structure and formation of stars. First you have the core, then you have the radiation zone, followed by the convection zone, and then the photosphere. The birth of stars. As temperature increases in the core and nuclear fusion begins in a molecular cloud, a protostar, a protostar is formed. Once the star emits UV light and radiation, it has become an active young star. Finally, around that star, a solar system of planets and other celestial bodies is formed. the death of stars. Once a star turns into a red giant, it can either form into a planetary nebula, which becomes a white dwarf, or the red giant can form into a supernova, which becomes a neutron star. Binary stars are simply stars that orbit each other. The key to finding the mass of binary stars is understanding the orbital rotation. The gravity determines the mass. The more massive star has a smaller orbit and is closer to the center, the lower mass star moves around a larger orbit. Here are three kinds of binary stars. A visual binary system, 
consists of two stars visible in a telescope. In a spectroscopic binary system, the spectrum of the light is given from both stars and is observed. Spectral lines shift apart and then merge, and the Doppler red shifts and blue shift hint towards the masses of the stars. Then, the eclipsing binary system is when a star moves in front of the other star and it blocks some of the light of that star. 80% of the stars in our galaxy are binary stars. The structure and formation of stars. There's the core, followed by the radiation zone, then the convection zone, and finally, the photosphere. Birth of stars. First, there's a protostar, and with the protostar, the temperature will increase in the core until nuclear fusion begins and the protostar and protoplanets form. In an active young star, stars emit, a star will emit UV light and radiation. This eventually forms into a young solar system. The death of stars. Once a star turns into a red giant, it can either form into a planetary nebula, which becomes a white dwarf, or a red giant star can form a supernova, which creates a black hole or a neutron star. A nova is just the explosion on the surface of a white dwarf star, while a supernova is the actual new star being formed. The Milky Way Galaxy and Galaxies To estimate the distance to a nearby galaxy, you need to know the Cepheid variables as well as the period-luminosity relationship. Cepheid variables are the stars which pulsate or blink, and this is connected to how bright they are. For example, stars that take a longer time to pulsate, pulsate tend to be brighter. Because we know the mass-luminosity relationship, it goes to follow those bigger stars will take a longer period of time to pulsate. Milky Way galaxy from the top view. Note that the central bulge is also called a galactic bulge. Our galaxy is approximately 100,000 light years across. Here is a side view where you can see the nucleus better. There are several types of galaxies, including spiral, elliptical, irregular. First, a spiral galaxy has a flat and large disk, interstellar matter and young open star clusters, a halo, ellipsoidal nuclear bulge, spiral arms, and our Milky Way is an example of what a spiral galaxy is. An elliptical galaxy, on the other hand, has luminous spirals without a disk component. It doesn't rotate as a whole galaxy, and it contains old population two stars. Last but not least, an irregular galaxy is distorted by the gravitation of its intergalactic neighboring galaxies. It does not fit well into the scheme of disks and ellipsoids. They have irregular shapes. Thank you everyone for watching. Come visit us at the SSC if you have any more questions. Good luck on all your studies and tune in for the next workshop.